Shams the Kings, 46-36. They lost to the Pelicans in the play-in. Their sixth man, Malik Monk, is a free agent. Whoa. What about their plans? The Kings can offer Monk up to four years, $78 million in a new contract. And they obviously want him back. They recognize his value for that team. He was one of the runner-up for sixth man of the year award this year. So he, he, what he's done in Sacramento alongside De'Aaron Fox, DeMontis Sabonis, he's made them a winner again, has helped contribute to that. And so they know that around Sabonis and Fox, they can bring in talent now to Sacramento. They have assets to do it. They have flexibility to do it. For the first time in a really long time, I think they're looked at as a team that some players could look at going uh, to. So I, I think they're going to continue to be aggressive with their assets and, and, and all the flexibility that they built. They went after Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi the last, year, last couple of years. Hmm. They came close for, for at least one of them. Uh, we'll see who they go after again. Yeah, the Kings are interesting because I do love Malik Monk. Now at that price tag, how much do they value him? How much do they like him? They have their dynamic duo going forward. I think they learned some things that Keon Ellis, no one expected him to be this good. He's now a keeper on this roster. So there are certain assets that they have. I just think even if you pay Malik Monk that money, which I think he, he deserves it, does that put them over the edge? Is that, it's, it's, it's not like they're adding anything to their right. current team. So I do think they need to keep him at all costs, but it's, it's basically bringing back the same team that didn't work this year. So they, they got to they gotta look maybe via trade or do something, but they're on the right path. It's just the Western Conference is stacked. Malik was one of the bright spots, though. You know, I, I keep Malik. My only concern would be... Um, being someone that's torn his ACL, you know, this is going to be a long road back. And he tore late in the season, you know. So he has recovery over the offseason. He's going to miss some basketball um, at the beginning. Well, of the MCL. 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 Same thing. They got to tear it all down, you know. So it's going to be a, a long road to recovery. It's going to be a little while before you see the version of Malik Monk that we've got accustomed to seeing how at the level that he's been able to play. He's going to get back to that form, but it's going to be a little while. So, you know, they got to make a decision there. But I say pay him, give him his money. Well, then, I, I kind of, the thing that Chandler said about it, but then this is really just the same team, and each time we get to a certain point in the year, it feels like they don't have enough to make that next step. So then who, who are you adding? Well, and what's tough is you look at the Western Conference, the Warriors, the Rockets, the Grizzlies, and the Spurs are all going to be better next year. And those are all teams that are behind the Sacramento Kings. So if they don't get that next guy, if they don't, or they try and move a Harrison Barnes, they try, but like how much are you going to get back for him? I don't know what they can do without getting rid of someone that's extremely valuable. I love Kevin Herter there. I love, uh, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. Who's the, uh, Keegan Murray, I love him. So I, I, they have assets. I just don't know if it's Who's a, this guy? Is that what no, said? I love Keegan Murray, but they're not getting rid of him. No, but you're right. But that it does feel like, okay, well, we're just doing the same thing over and over again. It doesn't feel right. And the again. only thing in Sacramento now is, like, they have flexibility. They have, they have contracts that you can trade, like Harrison Barnes' contract. There are a few other deals. Kevin Herter's deal. Like, you can add those numbers up. You have draft picks now. You have some flexibility. And with Fox and Sabonis and Mike Brown, there's at least stability there that guys can look at in Sacramento. They've had the same regime over the last few years. That's the one positive saving grace you can look at in Sacramento. And, yeah, Malik Monk, that's the type of deal you have to pay him to retain your, t your, your, your talent. You can't it, – it's hard to see if you're the Kings just allowing Malik Monk to leave. Right. It's hard to and replace that. Also, look, at the, the Blazers and the Jazz are the only teams that really aren't going to be much better, and that's depending on what they do this summer. So you look at the Memphis Grizzlies with John Rampack, they're going to be a lot True. better. Look at the rise of the San Antonio Spurs. Amen, sister. They're going to be a lot better. So there's so many good teams, girlfriend, <laughs> that uh, – it's going to be tough because I don't know what move they make that really actually gives them that bump up.